welcome back to my channel. Come along with me for a day in the life of. Monday, I have an interview lined up with a shop owner who's opening this week. I'm super excited to get some top tips for you all, my viewers, on what it's like opening week for a bubble tea shop. There's actually been a huge delay in their grand opening, so I'm hoping everything's okay. Tuesday, I've been hired on for a tasting session. This client wants to open up a bubble tea shop inside a posh mall, but the management requires a full tasting session of their entire menu before they're allowed to open, or even sign the lease for that matter. I'm super nervous about this one because it's very last minute, and if it doesn't go as planned, they could lose this really, really good opportunity. Sorry. Because of the supply chain issues, I had a really difficult time sourcing a lot of the supplies that I needed for this tasting session. I was honestly really worried and I didn't know what to do. Okay, so I'm just heading over to my friend Mosin's place. It's called Tea Society in Royal Leamington Spa. I just don't have the exact supplies for what I need for the tasting. He so kindly said, just pop on by, grab what you need, and then that way I'll have everything that I need for the tasting session. Let's go inside. Here it is here. Okay, crisis averted. My friend Mosin hooked me up with even things I didn't need, like loads of powders and syrups, uh, lots of juice balls and jellies and like all sorts of things. Gave free drinks, like it was great. And it was great to catch up again and see how things have been since, you know, post lockdown and all that. So I'm really glad that everything worked out and oh, huge weight lifted. Just so grateful, so grateful. Doing a tasting session, especially on location, takes days of preparation in addition to the actual time of the tasting session. And you need to have all of the syrups and all of the powders that are required for your menu, all of the utensils, the teas, a way to brew the teas, a way to make the teas. It's definitely a lot. So what I did in advance was I wrote out every single powder flavor, syrup flavor, everything that I had, what I needed. I cross compared it with their menu and exactly how much of everything I needed. And as you can see here, it took an entire huge suitcase just to pack everything. In addition to all of the gear that I needed to record the very important interview the day before. It was a lot of luggage. It's okay, we're on our way to London. hours later I have arrived to my hotel it is a very long journey <laughs> to get into London you gotta get to the train station you're on the train for an hour and a half then you got to get on the tube then you got to get another tube then you got to get to your hotel so it was a very long journey it's like half of the day is already just completely over but that's why I think getting here a day ahead of time is super important because that way tomorrow when I do my interview, I will be well rested and uh, won't have gone through this whole travel ordeal of getting into London. <laughs> now Monday for the interview, 
it will be an hour and a half to two hours getting to the first location. Again, just because the tube ride alone is an hour. And then of course there's walking there and trying to find the location and getting situated and everything as well. And that's on the far east side. So outside of central London. And then the tasting on Tuesday is again about between an hour and a half to two hours the complete opposite side outside of central London on the west side. So that'll be a whole different journey on that day. So a lot, a lot of traveling coming up. dinner. It was a noodle and dim sum dinner. It was so, so tasty. We are just loving Chinatown, walking around. It's super busy here. There's a bubble tea shop that I've wanted to check out for a while. I've been there before, but the reason why I want to go on this trip um, is just because they have a limited edition drink. And you know me in limited edition. I love things that are super, super unique. And although they specialize in, you know, matcha and matcha drinks, they also have something called hojicha, which is something that I'm a huge fan of. Um, the first time I had hojicha was actually in Malaysia, and I just fell in love with it. It's a tea that you can't really get a lot of places. So I am looking forward to trying it. Um, and this one has pumpkin in it as well, which is super cool. So for those of you who may not know what hojicha is actually. Hojicha is a Japanese green tea. It is distinctive from other Japanese green teas because it is roasted over charcoal. And so it has that sort of matcha-ishy flavor, but it's roasted. It's kind of like, I also really like roasted smoky oolong, which is another amazing beverage that I really enjoy. I'm looking forward to this. It's gonna have that smoky, pumpkin-y flavor. Okay, question of the day. Do you guys still have your limited edition pumpkin hojicha? Yes, awesome, they've got it. I'm so excited. Okay, can I please get one of those? Uh, let's go for the medium, please. Colt. And do you have the taro balls for it as well? Okay, good. Okay, there you are. Thank you. Thank you. And one other random thing. How do you pronounce the name of the company? Sujiri. 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 Okay, Sujiri. So there you go. We were having debates about how you pronounce it. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, thanks. All right. So here it is the pumpkin spiced hojicha latte with taro balls. We got this uh, natural bamboo straw. All right. So it's very loud in here. Nice and cold. Oh wow, that's very, very different. It's nice, it's very earthy, not sweet at all. I can definitely taste the pumpkin. I'm thinking they used like actual pumpkin puree. And then of course the hojich is there, which I'm getting in the background. It's really nice. So I got the taro ball. So it's an actual taro, like tapioca. Mm. Yeah, nice. Not super chewy, like a normal tapioca pearl, kind of more, it kind of has a bite to it. 
But it goes really nice with the pumpkin, of course, because, you know, pumpkin is a gourd and taro is a root, so it's kind of got that earthy thing happening. Mm. Very nice and autumn, fall flavor. It's good. So I think I would definitely order this again, but next time I would get it a little more sweet. Um, just because it's not really sweet at all, which I actually enjoy, but because I'm getting it after my dinner, I kind of wanted something a little more dessert sweetish. The other thing is, it's quite thin. The consistency of it's quite thin. So I think if I personally were going to make this drink, I would find a way to make it a little bit thicker, maybe with um, you know whipping cream or like creamer powder. But other than that, it's a really nice uh, earthy autumn type flavor, especially with the taro balls in the bottom. Yeah, I like it. I think it's nice. I'm glad I decided to stop by and try it out. Grabbing a nice breakfast here at Pret before we head on the tube. Pretty quiet. just wrapped up my interview with Mo and Zane for Boba Coma in Leighton, London. And let me tell you, they made me some special top-notch drinks off their menu. Wow, this one is called the Karak Milk Tea. I'm sorry if I'm probably butchering that name. It is so, so good with that undertone of the cardamom. And then this one is the 24 karat gold uh, milky brown sugar bubble tea. And that one literally had a whole leaf of 24 karat gold on the top with loads of sugary brown goodness on the inside and it was just, wow, it was amazing. So anyways, heading back now to the tube. I had a great time. Those guys are fabulous. Their drinks are amazing and their shop is really, really good too. I'm looking forward to that interview. I think I'm probably gonna make a two-part series out of it. Okay, it is going on three o'clock in the afternoon and all of this began technically at seven in the morning, so it's definitely been a full eight hour day. I am feeling pretty exhausted at this point. 
But you know what? It is exhilarating and it was well worth it. I've got some sushi to go, which is one wonderful thing that I love about London, just being able to pop into like a wasabi or something like that, grab some amazing salmon sushi, which is my favorite, and go back to my hotel and relax for a little bit before hopefully popping out later and finding another bubble tea shop to try at another amazing drink. All right, so before I start on this amazing salmon sushi, um, there was just one other thing that Zane had said that, that really struck me. And um, he so kindly said that, you know, from my free YouTube videos, instructional, and of course the interview videos, um, along with the uh, full documentation packet that he purchased online, it really made a difference for him to be able to open his shop to the point where he said, you know, I don't know if we could have done it without all of this. So um, he was very grateful and it, you know, made me feel really good to know that everything I'm doing is making a positive impact for people around the world. Um, so that was, that was really nice of him to say. So I really appreciated that. Will I make it on time to the tasting session tomorrow? Does this lady catch the tube? To find out, watch part two of Day in the Life of.